Hey everybody, it's Sal here again with another video. Before I begin, I just want to remind you guys to uh, please subscribe to my channel, uh, like my video, and uh, while you're at it, make it a favorite. Why not? Anyways, let's get on with it. For today's video, I found a really neat article about Jolly OS. Uh, that's J-O-L-I operating system. Um, I like it because it's lightweight, um, it's web-centric, this is perfect for uh, netbooks, uh, things that um, are just on the internet. Uh, uh, here's a brief uh, explanation of it. Uh, the Jolly Cloud uh, platform offers a lightweight operating system that you install on your PC, uh, but is uh, focused on the web. It's a web-centric operating system. Uh, it can be installed on its own or dual boot with Windows. Uh, it's also possible to run Jolly OS uh, in a virtual machine or use a live version from a USB flash drive. Uh, now these live versions, I've seen it before, like in Ubuntu OS, uh, just burn it to CD, boot from the CD, and then you get to taste uh, what Ubuntu feels like and all that stuff. Same thing with uh, Jolly OS. So what you're going to do is, if you're interested in playing around with a very lightweight uh, operating system, now if you're thinking this is very much like Chrome, uh, Google Chrome OS, you are right on the you are on the correct track. Uh, the only there's only two differences. One, Chrome OS does not support dual boot, and the second, Chrome OS is not yet has not yet been released. So there you go. So you pretty much don't have a choice. <laughs> Jolly OS is the way to go if you want to play around with this. Um, now there's uh, there's uh, hundreds of applications you can um, you can install. Uh, all categorized under communication, enterprise games, graphics, music, productivity. Uh, the list goes on. Uh, some applications that you will find are Writer, Audacity, PowerPoint Viewer. Hulu Desktop and GIMP, which is your open source, uh, I guess, uh, paint, um, Photoshop replacement. Now, in terms of online storage, you can link Jolly OS with Sugar Sync, SkyDrive, I use SkyDrive, and Box.net. And it's also very well integrated with Dropbox. Okay, there's some social aspect, there's some social feel to this uh, operating system as well. Um, uh, built in, uh, you can automatically connect to Facebook. You'll see that later when we run and sign in to the operating system when you uh, load it up. Uh, you'll have, uh, there's the Jolly public page, which uh, you can get followers, list how many PCs you're connected to, your favorite apps, and your friends, whoever follows you can um, install those favorites that you list on your page right off your page. Okay. Now the target audience for this, it's not only for netbooks because it's very slim and light, it's a great way to resurrect your old computers. Okay, so uh, if you got like a five-year-old computer that you're just not using because the latest and greatest just don't work on it, if you just want to use your PC for surfing and stuff like that, why not go ahead and install uh, Jolly OS. Now to get started, you're going to go to jollycloud.com as we see here in the title. You're going to click, and when you come to the page, uh, you're going to see a video here, right there, um, on the video. We're not going to run that. Uh, you can take a tour, sign up for free, and all that. So when you get to the page, you're going to quickly go to Jolly OS. Now, I've squeezed my browser together just so I can capture everything here. The next page, there's two options to download here. The first one is you want to keep Windows. You can download a dual boot version of the operating system or if you just want to download the operating system and reinst reinstall it fresh on a computer here you're going to use the just jolly OS as you see there in the picture okay bring your old computers back to life create perfect internet computer and uh, sometimes you have the option of uh, when you buy a new computer not to have Windows installed just leave no operating system on it and you may get a refund uh, because you're not buying the license for uh, the uh, Microsoft um, thing. People do it with Linux as well. So to get started, you're going to need to download the Jolly OS ISO. Okay, that is one of the two requirements to start to uh, create your boot, your live USB flash drive. Okay, so you're going to click download. It's about 700 megs. So um, 
you're going to need that, number one. The second thing is the application that actually creates the USB key. Okay, now you're going to click on support. You're going to scroll down, fourth link down here, it says try Jolly OS without installing it. You're going to click that. Okay, and there are the instructions. Okay, you're going to create the USB key, insert the key in the device, power on. Uh, when you get to um, your, uh, you're going to have to activate the BIOS there. You select your bootable device. You're going to select to boot from the key. And you're going to see this when we do it. Okay. Now, when on number one, when you click it, you're going to be brought to the application right there to create the USB key. And there's three versions of the application. One for Windows, one for Mac, one for Linux. I downloaded the Windows one. And, um, yeah, that was it. So, I have both downloaded already. They're here on my desktop. This is the USB creator, it's called, which is the second download. And this is the ISO. Okay, see so about just under 700 megs. So, you're going to take a USB key. I have a 2 gig one here. I'm going to plug it into my computer. And pretty soon, you're going to see this. I'm just going to cancel that. So, it's drive K. Now, this application here, when you run it, there's my permissions, that's Windows. This is what it looks like here. Welcome to the uh, USB. Now, this is an application that will first install on your computer. So don't be confused and start pointing this to your K or to your USB memory key. This application must be installed on your computer first because it's the application that will create the key after it's installed. So what you're going to do is you're going to click next, uh, next, okay, and here we're going to click the install button. I have already installed this, so I'm not going to bother clicking the install button at the bottom there, okay. Um, once it installs, you're going to go to your start menu and you're going to find Jolly Cloud USB Creator, okay. Now, this, whoops, this is what it looks like here. You're going to browse first for the ISO. So you're going to go, I have it on the desktop. I'm going to scroll down, select it. It's just outside of the capture window here. Uh, there it is. You're just going to click it, click open, and you've got it selected. Notice how it doesn't say that you've got it selected unless you read at the bottom here. It says ISO selected. Then you're going to point to your USB drive, which is K in my case. Okay, then you're going to click connect. So follow the instructions here, writing ISO on USB. There's nothing much to do after this except wait. And this will take, depending on your flash drive and all that, about three minutes. That's how long it takes for me. So I will probably just come back to you when it's at 100%. Okay, we're 2%. Now, that was 100%. The writing has completed. Now it's checking the disk content. This is going to take a few extra seconds. And that is complete as well. Complete in just under three minutes. So at this point, you can just close the application. You can, um, you can leave these on your desktop or you can delete them. It's all up to you. Uh, you can burn this to CD if you do have an interest in uh, installing it on a netbook or an old computer or dual booting on your new computer, doesn't matter. I'm going to now continue this uh, for my other camera, uh, which will be facing the uh, monitor, and uh, we'll uh, continue on from there. All right, we'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, we're back, and uh, here is the uh, rebooting part. So we're just gonna wait till the uh, BIOS screen turns on, and here we gotta hit F12 for our boot menu. Now hitting F12 will let me select uh, which hard drive to boot off of or uh, flash drive or whatever. So for me, I got to go down to hard disk, and now here I get to select which one. Now my, I think I believe the first one is my USB hard drive. The second one is the flash disk um, that most likely has the operating system installed. So that's what we're going to select, and there it is. So we're going to try Jolly OS without installing. 
Yes. So let's see what this bad boy is going to look like. Look at that. It's detected my video card. Pre-configuring NVIDIA driver. Wow. Well, there you go. So... Huh. So you get to log in. So you can create an account or log in with your Facebook. So what I'm going to do is I will log in... I'm going to set this up first and then we'll uh, continue from there. Okay, so we're back. What I did, I uh, logged in with my Facebook account. Um, and there you go. So it says here you are running Jolly OS as a guest. Your local changes will not be saved. So this is pretty neat here. We have uh, our, our, our browser, which uh, I wonder, looks like it's using Chrome, but probably its own version. It's a different color. And you get to, so it looks like uh, you get to launch your social uh, stuff there, Facebook, Twitter, your email, if it's through Gmail. Um, if you got Flickr, if you're on YouTube, like you know who, uh, look at that, it's linked to your Google Docs. So it's pretty much all shortcuts um, to the web. That's all it is. I guess that's the, like the key that uh, to make it very lightweight. Some icons in the corner here. We have our volume icon here, and this here is our network network icon. So it looks like we're connected to the internet, of course. So the first button here has got an A. I guess this is our applications that we have installed. There's a little satellite button here, and this is our stream. Oh, here, following our followers, top members. And then public page would be our public page. Oh, that's what my public page looks like right there. Right there. Now, uh, okay. And then this here, there's a folder here. So this would be our, we have local storage available on this device, as you can see in the right-hand corner here. I know it's kind of tough because I'm using my uh, webcam. Um, we have all our storage devices plugged in. My, my iOmega hard drive. There's the uh, flash drive. It says Jolly OS flash drive. Um, my hard drives. I got two hard drives in the system. And here's the web, uh, my Google Docs settings. You probably just enter your username and password. And Dropbox. Okay. Now let's see what the settings, a little sprocket here. You have your info, badges. I don't know what that is. History, shared apps, devices. It's probably all the computers you are connected to with this thing. Then we have this device. So it's like I'm looking at it. I think it's a little bit limited because we are logged in as a guest. But um, this is what it looks like, guys. Now there's also here to add applications. You have to click the, um, the plus sign here, the green button. And here are all the web apps you have. Okay, as I said, communication, enterprise, all they're all here. I'm just not going to go through them all. I'm just going to probably bore you to death like I've already have. <laughs> um, you got Skype. Look at that. VLC. It's pretty neat. Looks like you got everything you need for a, you know, for a web, for a web device, you know, like your netbook and stuff. Uh, my apps. Now you can also um, create, add your own shortcuts to the desktop. And again, these are just shortcuts. So for me, I use Hotmail for my email. So I would probably just create a um, create a shortcut here for my Hotmail. I don't know. So there's the dots here for different pages. Look at that. You got Pac-Man installed. Now can I create? 
Oh, we go to the bottom, add new app. So here it is. This is how you add a shortcut. Let's let's do the hotmail. Hotmail. We'll add the shortcut. Hotmail.com. Let's see if it puts the icon there too. Oh, look at that. It's got the little Microsoft butterfly. It's kind of outdated. But uh, is this the app you want to see here? Add or no, continue. So we'll go yes. We'll just see what it looks like on the desktop. Now as we're waiting here, um, it says here added. And then uh, you can go back, create a new one, just cancel out. Let's go back to the application, see what it looks like. And there it is. There it is. It probably just gets the icon from the web page and pastes it there. It looks a little pixely there. I guess it's not um, It's not made for this kind of stuff. Oh, look at that. You got Office Live. That's pretty cool, too. You got your Office apps from Microsoft. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to end it right here. If you're interested in uh, you know having this run on your old computer or your netbook, uh, go to jollycloud.com. It's pretty neat. Uh, looks pretty nice. It's, I like. It's perfect for uh, your netbooks and old computers. Um, it it looks like it gives you everything you need uh, just to surf the internet and you know communicate on it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've had fun putting it, uh, exploring this uh, Jolly Cloud OS. It's uh, it's pretty neat. So let's power it down here. There's a little power button. Let's see what our options. Uh, you sure you want to quit your session, log out, sleep, restart, shut down? We're going to select restart, boot back to our main OS. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, and um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it uh, or make it a favorite. Uh, Jolly OS, it's pretty cool. Check it out.